on, let's go ahead and take a look at the second um, problem from the sample exam. Now, we're moving into a multiple answer, which means out of these four options in A, one of them is correct, so I'll have to pick that out. Out of these four options in B, one of them is correct. I'll have to pick which one. Same with C, D, and E. So I just have to pick the, the statements that are true, and there's one true for each of these. So let's go through and find this. The first thing it's gonna, I'm going to be asked is, can I find a linear equation um, for life expectancy of an American-born T years after 1980? And really, I should have started with, let's, let's read the question first. So the life expectancies at birth of Americans are shown in the table for various years. So it looks like the letters I'm being instructed to use are L and T. And just based off of that, I can rule out A, these, well, you can rule out these two options for A because they don't have the right letters. So I just, I really need to figure out, it looks like my slope is definitely 0.15. I need to figure out if the y-intercept is negative 224 or 73.8. So let me go ahead and just erase this because it gets pretty crowded pretty quickly. And then just we'll, we'll remind ourselves that we are ruling out this option and this option. So the other thing that I need to take into account is this says T years since 1980. So my T here in 1980 itself would be zero because that is zero years after 1980. This 1985 is five years, right? 1990 is 10. And then I would just keep on going with this. And if you're ever unclear... Right. If you ever want to find your your the year you're in, let's say I pick something like 1982, right? You always subtract your base year, and that would tell you your t value. So always subtract your base year from your current year, and you would find that number. So for example, when I had 1985, if I did 1985 and I subtracted my base year of 1980, I would get five, and that's where you see that t value. All right. So let me erase this. All right, and I'll erase that one. And at this point, I need to go over to my calculator, input the data, and run one var, or not one var stats, excuse me, stat calc 8. So let me go ahead and do that. Now, I'm going to do all of this on the calculator app because I'm on my iPad. And I went ahead and I put my data into my lists. And you can see it in there, right? And again, take note that in L1, I have the values of T, not the year. So I don't have 1980, I have zero. And at this point, we do stat, we go to calc, and we're gonna go in the calculator, in the app, it's option nine. Usually on the physical calculators, it's option eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed it L1, L2, and I'll drop it into Y1. Oh, it looks like I have some stuff in Y1. I'll have to clear it out. And as we run this, I can see that my Y-intercept is 73.8, and my slope is 0.15. So I have Y equaling A plus BX, and let me go ahead and take notes on this. So if I look at my calculator screen, we had y equals a plus bx. Our a value was 73.8 and our b value is 0.15. So what that means is I would write here 73.8 plus 0.15x, but remember that your problem was, or you were directed in, the, in part A to use L and T. So really I'm gonna say that life expectancy can be modeled by 73.8 plus 0.15 times t, and if I take a look at that, this is the correct answer. So this is the one that I want here. All right, so then if we look at part b, it says use your linear model to estimate the life expectancy of a person born in 2020. Well, if I want a person that's born in 2020, the, the most common error I would see, and let me write a here, I, I would see this a lot. I would get students that would say 73.8 plus 0.15 times 2020. But you got to be careful. We're not plugging in 2020. We have to plug in a T value. And remember that I said if you wanted your T value, you take whatever year you're interested in, in this case it's 2020, and subtract out your base year. So in 2020, T would have been 40, because you can imagine if I had one more data point here, right, I would have had a T value of 40. Now I don't, so I'm going to erase this, but you can always calculate the value of T there. So let me go ahead and erase this 2020 shenanigans, and let's go ahead and put in 40. And at that point, I can plug that into my calculator, and I'm gonna see it's 79.8, and our units for the Y values, or really the L values, are years. All right, so if I take a look here, it looks like this is the option for B that I want. All right, part C says, hey, is the calculation you made in part B an example of interpolation 
or extrapolation. And how you take a look at that is, let me change highlighter colors here. If we look at our initial data range, it was the years 1980 to 2015, or you could look at it, the T values, zero to 35, and compare that with what you were plugging in. We were plugging in 40, and let me change pen colors here. Now 40 is outside of our initial data range, which is fine. All that means is this is an example of extrapolation. Now let me let me give you a counter example. Let's say in part B we had plugged in instead of t equaling 40, let's say we had plugged in 23 here. All right. If this had been 23, it would have been somewhere in here, right? It would technically have been the year 2003. That would have been an example of interpolation. We were pre predicting for a year value that was inside our data range, which is fine. It just we had extrapolation. All right, and actually just to be consistent, let me move this, let me change this color to, oops, to extrapolation here. All right, and then if we look at part D, it says use your linear model to predict the birth year in which life expectancy will be 85 years. So you hear it, they want life expectancy at 85. So I'm gonna take this linear model here and I'm gonna set L to 85 and then I'll solve for T. So here we go. So let's do, this is now part D. So I'm gonna let this equal 85 will be equal to my linear model of 73.8 plus 0.15t, and I'm gonna subtract 73.8 from both sides. And I like to have my um, variable on the left-hand side, so I'm gonna put the 0.15t here, and when I do 75 minus, excuse me, 85 minus 73.8, I'm gonna get 11.2, so I'll divide both sides by 0.15, and I will get that t is equal to about 74.7. And you need to be careful here, right? And Because you, you might look at these answers and say, well, 74.7 isn't here. Well, correct, because again, if we go back to the original definition, this is T years after 1980. So basically, we're trying to figure out what year is it when you're about 75 years since 1980. So 75 years since 1980. So what I'm going to do here is if I actually, and I'll, I'll, I'll put this if I want to find the actual year, this time I'm going to take 75 and add 1980 to it, and I'm going to find out that that year is basically 2055. So my correct answer is hanging out right there. All right. And then last but not least, they want us to interpret the slope. So let me go ahead and start in on that. So my slope for this problem is 0.15. All right. And if we go back, we always think of this as your y's, your change in y over your change in x, or for the letters of this problem, this will be the change in, and I'll put um, L over the change in T. So again, this is life expectancy over years since 1980. So let me let me redo this again. So this is years, oops, and this is life expectancy. All right, and the bottom is also years, but this is years since. 1980. And I always think of this as a unit ratio, meaning it's uh, it's got a denominator of one. So what's what this is saying is for every one year since 1980, the life expectancy increases by about 0.15 years. Right? So the, the later you're born, the longer you're expected to live. So let, let's figure this out. So if I start to look at my options for E, we can rule out these last two because they don't have the correct slope value. All right. So then we're down to these two options that talk about it, or at least use the number 0.15. But if we look at this, right, one is using life expectancy for the unit, right? One year life expectancy or one year that passes. And if you look at your denominator, it's one year that's going from 1980, then your average life expectancy increases by 0.15. So this is the actual answer we're looking for. All right, so that's what we got going on there. And you're gonna definitely need to use your calculator to get that linear model. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.